Previously on The Potentialists. Should we ask Jay-Z and Beyonce if they could find a place? No! No! To you to move forward and people don't. They're stuck in the past. And you're one of those, my friend. Patriotism is dead. That's fantastic to be proud about your roots. But what about where you live? Ready, set, vlog. We've gotten a lot of people asking us what our everyday life is like. In this episode, you're gonna see a lot of different things, just what we do every day, you know, the different stuff that everybody that's part of the Bow World family does and just us having a lot of fun and getting a lot of work done. Hey guys, I'm going to school. Make a pit stop at the gas station? Yeah. You gotta put on your seatbelt. Safety first. This is the pit stop. I'm gonna guess that Dylan's gonna bring out a bear claw. And we have the war. What did he get? What did he get? What did he get? What did you get, dude? Your surprise monster. My surprise. Ooh, it's got texture to it. Okay, that's your dad's. And then my breakfast. Oh, Rice Krispie Treats original. Dude, I guessed a bear claw. Are you ready for court? Yep, back in court again, guys. My daughter. <laughs> decided to take the car out and she got a ticket. My brother decided to ask my daughter to get him food at 2.30 in the morning when I was out of town. She was not allowed to be driving at 2.30 in the morning because her restricted only allows her to drive till 11 p.m. So now we pay the consequences. She may not drive till she's 18 and we're here at the courthouse to see what the verdict is. Sabrina's 15 and if she didn't overcome this ticket, she would not be able to drive till she was 18 years old. So this was quite a disappointment to my young daughter. So what happened, Sabrina? I gotta drive! <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we just have to pay a fine. Oh. No court, no school, no point. I think the moral of the story is just follow the rules because you're going to face the consequences. And my daughter almost faced a very severe consequence. When you don't think about consequences, you end up living consequences that you really, really don't want to live out. Follow the rules. Okay, why are you here if you're sick? Because I have to make an appearance. I don't want it. I heard okay. a tip. Did you guess? I, 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. Whatever he has, I do not want it. So I don't know why he's here. Our last episode. <laughs> I haven't seen huh? the last episode. We saw a lot in our last episode. Oh, Ikea? You saw that? You saw that? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> we will get subscribers. <laughs> Next time you make sure you don't show anything. What the freak is happening? I need to laugh. Why? We're doing a commercial that requires laughing. Demonic laughter. Demonic laugh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna need more throat. <laughs> and this is what you guys do for work? Yes. And uh, axiom. <laughs> oh god, I lost mm. it. It's kind of like a maniacal laughter turning into a my body is turning inside out. What the f do I do? Action. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to rock! Well, today we got to get a box in the mail. This must be what Bert was talking to me about in uh, Las Vegas. From what I understand, this is supposed to be some sort of miracle thing that you put on your joint or wherever it hurts and it's supposed to relax your muscle and make it feel better. And considering I have really, really bad painful knees, I hope it works. Listen, I don't do anything pretty. I'm not a pretty man. So this is just gonna be, ah! Christmas, yay! Let's see what we have here first. Doc, it looks like soy sauce. Dr. Hoy's pain relief. More Dr. Hoy soy sauce. Oh, deodorant. No, it's not deodorant. How about if I apply some of this? Everybody contain yourselves as I show you some leg. Pure Cuban beef there, baby. Let's go with the bigger pain relief gel. And we're rubbing, and we're rubbing. And we're rubbing. Oh yeah. It actually feels pretty good. <laughs> Can I have a moment to myself, please? Let's see, move my leg. Believe it or not, I normally could not do that. <laughs> I'm digging your product. Dr. Hoy's, fantastic product. As far as I'm concerned, Dr. Hoy, you got my vote. Food, yummy food, yummy food, yummy food. Oh, oh. what are you eating? Nothing. No? No, it's for the dogs. That doesn't seem to look that way. I know, I'm hungry. Have a bite. What does it taste like? Holy beef. Probably not. Try it. Try seeing that you wouldn't have to imitate beef, seeing that dogs wouldn't know what beef tastes like. 
I don't know what I did when I was a child Papa. That doesn't matter. Buy one not. piece. No, I'm not gonna eat it. You say you've done it before. Yes. Do it one more time. One time's enough. Just one grain. No. Come on, man. I threw up. <laughs> Come on, Uncle, don't put it down. Sergio says he'll wear a chef costumes. <laughs> this is not really a chef hat. This is more of a woman's hat. I will do it for you guys. <laughs> chef says is on duty. Bam. Better like my food. You want the original copy, go to Instagram. Instagram, we're on Instagram, we're on Instagram. Oh, you just killed the toughness. Now that's a fire. It's supposed to be on fire? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. It's supposed to be slightly charred. See, look, that's not bad. We're cyber hanging out. Upside down. What do you think, Bo? So I think it's an awesome hat. How do you make your sweet play rise? <laughs> oh! Are you getting edgy? You're getting to the point where you've known me a little longer now, so you know. He's out of the closet, you know. And he's out of the closet. Hey guys, this is Bert, and I want you guys to know that you can like, comment, subscribe, and make it happen. And guess what? <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.